an act that has left everyone totally bewildered every time they've taken the stage. And tonight, they're hoping to leave you speechless all over again. Here's the clairvoyance. A few years ago, we moved into a 350-year-old house at the edge of a wood. And in the woods, we found a book. When we opened the book, our whole world changed because it was about clairvoyancy. We realized this is what happens between the two of us. In the quiet of the woods, our minds can connect as one. The mind is like a forest. There are light areas, but there are also dark areas that we know nothing about. We go to the hidden areas of the mind, places most people fear to go. In the hidden places of the human mind, we have so much power, and that's what we tap into. In previous rounds, our act always involved objects the judges were holding. Here's an expiration date. May 2017. Yes! What? But this time, for the semi-finals, we will tap into parts of the judges' minds that they didn't even know existed. Tonight, we'll bring the mystery of the woods to the stage of America's Got Talent. Tonight, we'll bring you back in time to an age before the internet. An age where people went to clairvoyance to get answers. So let us be your clairvoyance as we explore your most intimate thoughts. No worries, we won't reveal the embarrassing moments. Howie. But we will start with you. Howie, I want you to think of a question you always wanted to ask Simon, but you never did. Okay. Now is your chance. Please write down the question and make sure no one else and no camera can see it. Mel B, we are getting a little bit more personal. I'd like you to think of uh, someone, a special person, someone you haven't seen for a very long time, someone we could not know. Focus on their initials and write this stuff down. Thank you. And Heidi, excuse me for getting slightly intimate, but I'd like you to remember a kiss you once received and focus on the location. Uh, don't say on your lips. I mean, where you were at the time. And write the location down. When you're done with that, fold the pieces of paper together and hold on to them. Simon, please stand up and join me. Oh, again? <laughs> Now, imagine, imagine you walk down the streets of London together with your family and friends. Close your eyes now. You just achieved a huge life goal and you want to remember this time for the rest of your life. So you look up the Big Ben and the hands on the clock are indicating a very specific time. It's not on the hour, but what time do you see, Simon? Name hour and minute now. Four minutes past seven. Four minutes past seven, which is 7.04 in America. Correct. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I go? No. Simon, stay here for a second. Because, Simon, you imagined yourself walking in London, but you were not alone. We were with you. And we also saw the tower, and we also saw the clock, and indeed, it said 7.04. Amazing, or? Okay, I know you would not believe me. That's why we set the clock before the show started at exactly 7.04. Keep this as a souvenir, and now, judges, stand up, take your folded pieces of paper and join us on stage as we demonstrate how things were done 150 years ago. Come with me. Over there. Let's gather around the table. Okay. Things may get slightly more intense now, but don't worry, you can trust us. Simon, please. Thank you. Heidi, over here. You just need to keep an open mind, and maybe we can go to some very interesting places together. This is spooky. It's not. really spooky. Tommy. <laughs> Howie? Yes. Hand me your question. There we go. I will try to send your question to Amelie. Howie, your question is very specific. I'm getting it now. You ask for a race. Yeah. Is that correct? Is that correct? <laughs> yes. I asked Simon for a race. <laughs> Simon, now is your time. You can answer the question or not, as you wish. No. No, OK. <laughs> that was fast. Heidi, give me your paper. This time, I just need to touch it. Oh, give me your right hand. And give me your left hand, Heidi. This is weird. I sense a rush of emotion, such joy. 
Heidi, you're high up in the air. You're on an airplane. Is that correct? It is. It's correct. Thank you. Thank My you. What gosh. a beautiful memory. Thank you, Heidi. Tommy, please take me all this paper. Okay. There is a fire burning deep within you, so I want you to burn her paper, Tommy. Okay, we can try this. Huh. Uh, don't try this at home, but I want you all to look into the can. Look into the flame of the candle. Or into the flame of the fire. Melby, you are thinking of someone we could not know. Someone who influenced you when you were younger. Amelie, what is the first initial? I'm getting an I. I, is that correct? Focus on the second initial. The second is a W. No, it's a B. B, that is correct? Is that correct? Yeah! There is something else I'm getting. Is it possible it's your grandmother you're thinking yes. of? Yes! I wrote something down before the show started and I put it on a very special place. Tommy, can you help me? Absolutely. Melvi, open your right hand like this. I don't want to touch the pendant at all, but for the very first time, tell us the name, the first name you're thinking of. Iris. Iris, open the pendant on the side. Take out the folded piece of paper, unfold it. And let us all know what's written in there. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Iris, you are kidding me. Iris. Wow. That's my grandma. Thank you so much. You can go oh, back to your seat. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mel B. You can keep the watch assignment. Thank you, a little souvenir. Thank you. That was pretty spooky. The clairvoyance, Howie. Is that real? I gotta say, it's great. This is amazing. It's scary. It's weird. I swear to everybody at home, we had no part of this. And to me, this is my favorite moment of the night. This is, you gotta vote. You gotta put them in the finals. This is beyond human. Thank, Thank you, Howie. Thank you. Mel B, you seem a little spooked right now. You, you're freaking I am out. So freaked out. I haven't seen my grandma because she lived in the Caribbean for about nine years. And she was the first person that popped into my head. And the fact that you actually got the name right, the initials, <laughs> my gra everything. That is mind blowing. I'm really scared. Thank now you I'm so really much. Scary, isn't it? That's Amazing. <laughs> Heidi. Well, I don't think we need a clairvoyant to know that you're going to be there next week in the finale because you have to be, you will be. Exactly, everyone at home has to vote. We would love to. You amazed us all season and you did it again today. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You did. Simon. Wow. It's like being in a ghost movie with you two. I mean, genuinely, I mean, the fact that we were so close, we could see everything that was happening in front of us. There were no tricks. You obviously have special powers. Um, <laughs> God only knows what you could do if you make the final. Um, and again, where I applaud you is that it's, it's more than your powers. It's the fact that you put on this really delicious, creepy show. Yes. Um, yes. And, and from everything we've seen, I'm, I'm with these three. I think the final would just wouldn't be the same without you. And you probably know that already. Thank you so much. Thank you. Deliciously creepy. So if you guys were to make it to the finals, how would you use your powers? Next time, I think we will try to amaze and entertain whole of America. And step it up, of course. We Absolutely. try. Absolutely. All right, well, good luck tonight. Awesome job. Listen up.